Hello, and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show. I'm Greg Royce, joined here with Stevenson Head Football Coach Ed Hoddle. And Coach, last week you had your home opener against Kings, um, a pretty convincing 38-9 win. Just talk a little bit about um, getting off to a quick start and, and uh, getting the win in the home opener. Uh, you know, it's exciting to go out and, and, and put nine days of work to the test a little bit and to have the early success, I think, is is important for our football team because coming out of, you know, the week prior, I don't know how much, co- in, you know, game confidence we had. Mm-hmm. Um you know, we, we feel like we've got some talented players. We, we feel like there's some things we can do. And to get that, you know, that quick shot of adrenaline, that, that, that quick shot of momentum early in the game, I think was key, you know, to how we played the rest of the day. Yeah, talk about a little bit, you know, first play of the game, special teams comes up with a strip and, a, you know, recovers the fumble and then one play. Um, Dan Williams signs Preston in the end zone for a 7 nothing lead. Um, talk about what it meant, and you touched a little on it, just to be able to convert that big play early, which you weren't able to do in the opener. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, Coach Nelson does a great job with, with that kickoff unit. Um, you know, we think they're the most athletic group of players we put on the field at any given time. And, you know, it's something that he's been harping on for, for a couple of seasons now. We need, a, you know, to generate turnovers in, in special teams, and particularly in, in that kickoff unit. So to go out in, in, in the second second game and force you know that turnover on the opening uh, opening kickoff was was awesome and then you know to put the offense in a position where it's a sudden change situation literally coming out of the locker room and going to a sudden change and being able mm-hmm. to you know get everybody on the field lined up in, in, in a pretty quick fashion showed I think great discipline on the offensive side of the ball and and and, and it showed I think to us as coaches we kind of looked at it as okay they're focused yeah. you know you never know what you're going to get coming out of the locker room and and obviously the week before not having really any success to kind of hang our hat on much past the first play. It was nice to see us come out in the second play and, and, and be able to get lined up and be able to execute it, you know, a play at a very high level. Yeah, and talk about, you know, the offense just in general. You know, Dan threw for four touchdowns, but you got touchdown on the defensive side of the ball as well. You know, after not having an interception in the season opener, you got two, including a pick six by Zach May. Yeah, you know, again, it's it, you know, taking the ball away and, and protecting the football is something that we, we talk about all the time. It's, it's in my last reminders before we take the field. It's something that we talk about on a regular basis. So for us, that is an emphasis. And, you know, Danny's, Danny's just continuing to get better. You know, you know his dedication to, to what he's doing and getting better at his craft and understanding what Coach Larson wants to get done on the offensive side of the ball is, um, you know, his knowledge base is growing and growing. And I think we still have – you know, a lot of good football from Dan. I think he's just going to continue to get better and better. And that's that's an exciting thing, you know, to be able to watch and be a part of. Another thing I noticed is uh, the play on both lines, on both the offense and defensive line, you know, gave up five sacks in the season opener, just one on Saturday. Um, and you were able to get some pressure on their quarterback and come up with four sacks, um, something that you haven't been able to do a whole lot in the last couple of years. So what does it mean to get that pressure on their quarterback and also protect Dan? Well, that was by design. You know, we, we wanted to pressure them early and often throughout the day. And, you know, the, the emphasis all week was, was keep them in the pocket and pressure them inside out, and our guys were able to do that. And, you know, on the offensive line side of things, you know, I think it's very much a work in progress. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we, we've had some injury concerns, as, as many people do, yeah. you know, with that particular group. And we've shuffled some guys around, and, and I think they've started to kind of find their stride a little bit. I think looking at it, you know, and being able to run the ball and get, get over 100 yards rushing was, yeah. was also a big key. And that group, again, I think that is, is similar to Dan, I think, where they're going to continue to get better and better. And then that's the expectation, and they, they embrace that role. And, and I think, you know, the, they're just going to continue to grow throughout the year. Yeah. Uh, anything obviously is a great way, but anything you can take away that you need to improve on from that game? Oh, there was plenty. You I'm know, sure. there was still some mental mistakes. There were still some situations that we feel like we can handle better. Um, but again, it's it's the inward focus on what we can do to improve our football team. Obviously, we spend a great deal of time game planning and getting ready for our opponent, but we spend a significant amount of time evaluating what we do and how can we be the best football team on Saturday that we can possibly be. Yeah. Now, shifting gears, um, this Saturday you go on the road for the first time in conference play, head up to FDU Florham. Um, just talk a little bit about going on the road and how the mindset's maybe a little bit different than playing in front of your home crowd, and especially now that it's conference play. Well, when you go on the road, nothing changes. The expectations don't change. It's, it's you know, I, I compare road trips with a football team to family vacations. The work still has to get done. It just has to get done at somebody else's house. Yeah. So, you know, from our perspective, nothing really changes. Um, um, you know, it's it's a smaller group. 
Um, it's normally a veteran group, so it, you know the focus is probably a little bit more finite when we're on the road. Mm-hmm. Um, I think our guys have come to understand that there really isn't a difference for us. The difference yeah. for us is, you know, obviously we have a ferocious crowd here at Mustang Stadium, and 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 we're, you know, we we can hear the noise, but in in reality. They have to block that noise out and be locked in on doing mm-hmm. their job for 60 minutes. So for us going on the road, um, you know, they're really the expectations don't change a whole lot. Yeah, and going into that game, what are you looking for? I mean, obviously, like their team, you know, in the past has, has thrown up some points. They're capable of throwing up points. So what's the defense and overall? What do you need to do? Well, I think you know we, we we've got to make sure that we're efficient on first downs offensively. We've got to manage our third downs and be efficient on third down. And, you know, defensively, what we have to do. I mean, they've got a very dynamic receiver that that's drawing some national attention and, and has drawn national attention in the past. Uh, he's a difference maker. So you know, we're going to scheme to to work with him. But I think. You, they present some unique challenges with the offense that they run. And, you know, we're going to have to be mentally and physically prepared to, to play 60 minutes. You know, it's easy to look at this team historically and say, well, they haven't had a whole lot of success. But what I can tell you from the time we've started playing them to now, there's a significant improvement. Mm-hmm. The, the, this is a football team that's getting better and better every week, every step that they take. And going to their place, you know, there's always a little bit of added energy on their side. So yeah. we've got to match that energy and, and really be focused and execute our jobs to have success Saturday. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I mean, if you look at the score, especially from the game here last year, is that the final score is a little deceiving because at halftime it was like, I think, a one-score game or they were right in it. So the final score was a little deceiving. Yeah, last year, you know, we, I think we come out of the out of the first quarter, first quarter and a half, and we're down fifteen fourteen. Yeah, you know, they'd gone down the field twice on us and scored, converted on a on a two point play to take a fifteen fourteen lead at one point. Um, you know, and, and and we've got to be able to match that intensity. You right. know, there isn't in the MAC, and and I say this all the time in the MAC. There's no weeks off. This is, in my opinion, is one of the strongest football conferences in the country. And you know, as as was evident, you know, here last year on Senior Day, right. you, know, you can't look at it opponent's record in this league and say well this is going to be easy you you have to bring it every saturday in the mac absolutely well thanks a lot coach Uh, good luck on saturday um for coach ed hoddle i'm greg royce this has been the ed hoddle show